Okay, your thoughts in the second half? Because in the first half, they were they were getting the bigs were getting bit. Mm -hmm. Lots and lots of good shots inside. But in the second half, y'all looked like you stepped up your defense. Yes, we went we went to I think primarily our zone blizzard, and uh, we denied the high post. So. I think that was just a game changer. I think it put some pressure on them, didn't let them set up how they wanted to. I think that was a game changer, definitely. Denied the high post, because it looked like that's what they were working at. Mm -hmm. the first half, mm -hmm. the high post, then they Right in, low. yep, 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 high low, yeah. So, and, and you said, I think that was a game changer. Yes. All right, now we'll go to the higher number. Um, <laughs> the, uh, that late shot. In the end of the end of the second half, that was completely planned, right? Yeah. <laughs> to, shoot, to shoot it at that angle, right? Yeah. Like falling towards the moon, right? Yeah. <laughs> Did you think you had a shot? Um, I mean, it's definitely kind of not what we drew up. Um, we. You said it's definitely not. It's what not we what we drew up, Sophie. It's just how we planned it. <laughs> but um, we had a lot of great shooters on the floor. We had a lot of people capable of making that shot. Um, the ball ended up in my hands. Um, I knew the time was running down, but honestly, it, it really could have been anyone. It could have been anyone hitting that shot. Um, they had Jen out there, they had Lindsay out there, and it just it happened the way that it did, um, and gave us another shot this way. So. When you shot it, did you think it was going in? <laughs> it, it did feel good. It did feel good. Um, coming it, out of, you're coming out of your hand, you mean? Yeah, I mean, it happened. It happened really fast. I mean, it was just like time's running down. like. This ball's got to go up, um, and I mean, before before I even realized what was happening, I saw it go through the net. So it was just a great feeling, giving us keeping us in this game. It's good for me. Uh, just talk about uh, what it felt like. What the arena was. The environment out there and the energy out there. How how was that? Were you feeding into it? Were they feeding into you? Yeah, how does about a the crowd like that affect your play? Um, I mean, senior night having a, a really big crowd is really special. Um, especially like all the parents and families of our four seniors. Like, that was great. Um, I mean, once once we put ourselves back into this game, I think we put the crowd back into the game too. Mm -hmm. um, it, it was fun. It made it more fun. Uh, the energy, people. It's it's a really good feeling when people are into your games. I know we talked about it uh, right at right after the game in the locker room. Uh, Steph was like, when when Sophie hit that shot, that was the loudest the arena's been since about 2018, yeah. and it, it was just so live. It was so exciting, and the energy was so crazy. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Do you take a game performance like this? We're gonna play American on Wednesday, and then the postseason's coming up. Uh, how do we build up today? I mean, we talked about this in the locker room too. Like, we have we have American too, and that's just another opportunity to, to build some momentum going into postseason. And then once tournament time comes, like zero zero, like all we can do now is is just keep building. So yeah, that's what this game is for us. So. You said when, once tournament time comes, it zero zero. Yeah, new season, new season. It was just great. I think we felt very alive, you know, tonight, and um, just a nice team effort. Um, Really tough game to lose, obviously. Um, but, you know, when Sophie hit that three uh, to send it to overtime, you know, the arena just erupted, and we haven't heard that here and you know, since 2018 probably. Um, so that's just great, and I'm happy for our women that they had that experience. And, you know, Sophie was just got in a zone tonight for sure, um, you know, playing the post, playing the guard. You know, we obviously missed her for health reasons for a couple of weeks, and it, you know it's taken her a little bit to get back into it. But she was here tonight with a vengeance. Um, you know, we their zone is so good, and you know our team was able to you know, hit 11 threes and kind of get them out of it. And but uh, just some big baskets late by them, and you know we just missed missed a couple. In the second, in the first half, as I mentioned the. To the two ladies here before, they were doing a good job with their bigs, just especially um, Santorelli. Yes, she was getting involved. They would look like they were rotating them high and low and mm -hmm. just getting shots. Second half, it was a different story. You went to more of a, as Jennifer said, more of a zone, and mm -hmm. you were trying to deny like the high post, and they, yeah. they, they just they, they looked like they were really having a hard time. Yeah, yeah, 
Yeah, and that was a credit to Laurel Jonick. You know, she's just so good at that position in our zone, and uh, and you're not supposed to deny in, in that zone, but it's like knowing what they were trying to do against it and how good they are. It's like Laurel just did it. You know, she did it, and we had talked about it. Um, but for her to be able to execute that is just uh, a credit to her and kind of her experience. And she was denying the high post. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. And then everyone else just kind of did their did their jobs, and you know, Lindsay Llewellyn was playing out of position as a guard, and so that was great. She got in a nice little flow tonight, I thought too. And it looked like once the defense picked up, it just kind of started yeah. to lift. Yeah. Everything else, yeah. didn't it? Yeah, they they only average I think like 58 points, but the first time they played us, they scored 79, and we're like, you know, if we can, we're usually pretty solid defensively, and if they only average like 58, like we should be able to, and we did, you know, I mean, I think what they finished with 61 um, in overtime, so our defense was up to it. Um, obviously, the three ball was fallen, but you know, overall. We missed kind of too many, too many free throws um, to get the win, to earn the win, but. Um, but it was still a good effort. Good effort, yeah, really good effort. And um, yeah, you know, I mean, on senior night, it just things right out of the gate weren't going well for us, you know, and we just had to change that energy. And, um, you know, we were able to do it. And at halftime, you know, we looked and we had, you know, they had scored half their points, half of the points in the second quarter. We had doubled ours, you know, so the second quarter was what we wanted the recipe to be. And third quarter, we hit the most threes of any quarter. And, yeah, I mean, you know, confidence is hard to come by um, when you're not getting, getting a lot of wins. Um, so you kind of saw just so much tonight, like right before your eyes, like happened for our team. And, and um, it would have been great to get a win for sure. Um, but we're going to have a nice dinner tonight with the seniors and their families and kind of honor their efforts this year. You said confidence, um, this would be my last question, confidence is hard to come by, especially not getting a lot of wins, but in the second half they look like they played with confidence. Yeah. That's yeah. what I saw. Absolutely, yeah. No doubt, yeah. I mean, we, we had a, you know, a, a freshman on the floor. Um, we do, we'll have some women who just, they think too much, you know, they're too hard on themselves. And so they have to try to play loose. And uh, th that's a little bit of what you saw tonight. And what helps teams, p players play loose is when the ball goes in the basket. I mean, even if it's not their shot going in. <laughs> and so I think Sophie's kind of that zone that she got in, I think helped everybody.